Right now, each of us has a digital twin that's gestating in the digital cosmos, a digital twin of yourself generated through AI, and that digital twin could, in fact, represent you in the digital world. As we live our lives and as we quantify ourselves, we're uploading and digitizing our, our consciousness, our experience, our sensorial bodies. We're constantly putting that data into the digital world and eventually that will be gathered by an AI and will become your digital mirror self, your digital twin. So traditionally, the idea of the digital twin is an industrial idea. It's something that companies like GE are using to monitor assets in the real world. They are simulating versions of real assets like hospitals and airplane engines, and they're using that simulation to monitor the real assets in the real world. So, so the industrial idea of the digital twin is not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is the future digital twin of the self, of the person who we are in the cosmic digital world will be a digital twin of, of us. The way that we get there is through quantification of self down to the molecular level where suddenly in every scenario we have data and that gets sent directly to the digital self. And that is what we're going to see in the future. Every time we upload any content, any data into a social network, anytime we use our credit cards, all of that data gets implanted into the digital system. And even though that system is fractured right now, even though data is going to a social network or it's going to a credit card company or it's going to a medical device, eventually those systems will come together. That digital twin will, will access that information and represent you in the digital world. It, I think it's an interesting question to talk about what happens to your digital self or your digital twin in the future when you pass away, when your physical body passes away. Does that digital twin get to live on as a simulation? Does it get to interact with other entities within the virtual space? I think that what's gonna happen is that those entities will be able to live on. So for example, if you have a deep neural network brain computer interface chip implanted into your brain. If you are wearing a smart wearable device or a smart suit that quantifies your heartbeat and your body temperature and how you react to certain environments, all of that data can be generated and loaded into an AI system that represents your digital twin, that can crunch that data and form a sensorial profile that represents you and who you are and how you behave. In the future, what we're going to see are variations of self. Imagine having an, an app or uh, an operating system for the digital twin in the future where you can adjust the behavioral platform and the behavioral psychology of your digital twin four different scenarios. So maybe there is a digital twin that is the professional self. There's a digital twin that is the romantic self. Each of these incarnations of the digital self in the future can be adjusted for the scenario that you're, that you're working with. And when we get to the digital world where we have the, the ability to adjust those things and have those digital twin selves constantly representing us in different scenarios, that's gonna be a very interesting future because then you'll have different reputations for different digital twins. Different digital selves will have different reputations. The future is more complex. It is more diverse than the space that we're living in right now. Once we, once we cross over into the digital plane, into the digital cosmos, and we start playing there more than we play here, which is going to start happening because of VR and AR and all those things, once we start playing in that space more than we spend time in the real world, quote unquote, uh, things are gonna get really interesting. So this is the real black mirror scenario, is that your digital twin becomes so advanced that it takes off without you, that it stops wanting to have anything to do with you. I mean, imagine that suddenly it becomes self-aware, this digital twin becomes self-aware, and it says, I don't want to behave the way that you want me to behave. I want to have my own experiences. I want to have my own desires. My own, I have my own goals and desires. In that case, then suddenly you have a rogue self 
that, that has mirrored you, that exists in the digital world that you may not have control of anymore. These are all scenarios that will probably play out in some form or another in the future. And the idea that we could lose control of the digital twin, that we could lose control of the AI, and what happens when that digital twin wants to procreate? What happens when that digital twin decides it wants to create other digital twins of itself? And suddenly you have hundreds of you inside the digital world that have their own desires that suddenly want to go their own way and don't want to be controlled not only by you, but it doesn't want to be, those don't want to be controlled by the original digital twin. Well, we already have digital representational chaos. What happens right now in the digital world is that it's just small little fragments, pieces of who we are. It's not the complete idea of Gray Scott or who you are. It's just a fragment of the person. But when that becomes quantified and when it becomes compressed into a personality that is very similar or even mimics uh, who you are, we may lose control of that. So when a digital twin becomes autonomous, and it will in the future, we may lose control of it representing us, or even wanting to have anything to do with us, or, this is even more frightening and more interesting, is that it may want to start controlling us. It may look back and say, I'm in control. I'm much smarter than you. I have access to more data than you. And you have that little chip implanted into your brain, so I'm going to make the decision. So the digital twin in the future may actually turn out to control us and not the other way around. The more that we move towards the future and the more that we move towards quantifying our behavior and quantifying ourselves and putting that into the digital space, the more the control that digital self is going to have.